Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hello if you're new. My name is Jess and I love talking about beauty products here on my channel and today I thought we could start maybe a new series. I don't know, maybe it's a stupid idea. I've seen other people do it and I love watching these type of videos myself personally. <coughs> Seasonal allergies, let me tell you what. They're cutting the grass today and I'm sorry if you can hear stuff going on outside. <laughs> I've got the air on and the window shut but still. Woo girl, I am dying. So grab a coffee, an iced coffee, tea, whatever you like to drink. Let me know in the comments what you're having today. What, oh, if you're having a snack, you gotta tell me what you're snacking on. So how are you guys doing? What's up? What's new with you? Have you guys been watching this Johnny Depp trial? Let me tell you what. <laughs> I always like pre-film, so this will probably go up like next week. But oh my goodness, I have been following along and this week, right now, what's going on is Johnny Depp's team is like cross-examining uh, Amber and it's just get, it's getting wild. It's getting wild. So a lot of products I'm using today are kind of new to me. I have tried this already, but a lot of this, like the Kosas Concealer, I've got a Merit Lipstick. I'm going to be trying some of these products for the first time and some of them I have played with just so I have a little bit of an idea of an opinion um, on the formula and stuff. So I'm super excited. So if you guys missed my Sephora haul, what I purchased during the spring sale and you like watching makeup hauls, go check that out. I'll link it down below in the description box along with everything that I'm gonna be putting on my face today. So um, I already have my sunscreen and stuff on. So I'm gonna be using the Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer. I did post my separate like first impression wear test. Go check that out. I'm um, really disappointed that, that video hardly got any views. I don't know what's going on. I, if I'm just like not putting out good videos for you guys or people just are not interested. I don't know. Anyways, I'm in the shade uh, 10N. So I thought I would do a little update too and tell you guys how I feel about this product. Color match is really nice and I do like the formula. However, I do feel that... I do like this product. It's very similar to the one from Fenty. It wears kind of the same, but I will say this looks pretty patchy and breaks apart pretty easily throughout the day. And so it's kind of hit or miss. It's one of those products where some days I wear it, it looks great and it, it doesn't bother me. And then other days I'm like, mm, this probably should look a lot better. I'm gonna use my Paw Paw sponge to blend it out. I like to use a sponge. Um, I have dry skin if you guys are new here, so brushes don't work. I don't like using my fingers, but any method, hey, you go for it. It looks really, like, patchy, <laughs> like around my nose and stuff. So I try not to, I think the other key is to not apply too much. This is not a foundation, you know what I mean? So one even layer is really all you need. We'll see. I'm going to keep using it throughout the summer might be more of a summer product for me because I'm just so my skin is so darn dry all right for concealer I'm gonna be trying out the Kosas concealer this is one that everyone raves about and I'm definitely very new to this brand and this is the revealer concealer that everyone's going crazy over I'm on the shade 01 N which I think is a pretty good shade match for me I really like the Joe fit applicator it's just like kind of looks like a lipstick wand situation I don't know if this is really good for color correcting my darkness and whatnot, but I am gonna dab a bit of this on. This does have, I picked neutral, but to me this has a bit of a yellow undertone and I've seen some people say that this, these foundations and their concealers run a bit yellow. The other day when I used it, I used it with my fingers and just kind of spot concealed all over and then just set it with a powder and actually looked pretty nice. I will say, this concealer has a weird smell. It smells like, I would say I would describe it as oatmeal. <laughs> it just has a really strange scent to it. Do you guys notice that with this concealer? Like, that looks really nice. It looks very natural. Has pretty good coverage. That blended out so nice. Yeah, um, I need to continue using this concealer, but I do feel like this shade is a little too yellow for me. Concealers are tricky for me because some days I have good days with concealer and other days I don't. My under eye area is very dry. I crease really easily. I think I'm gonna use my ColourPop Pretty Fresh. This has definitely been my go-to favorite lately. 
and I have the shade Fair One. Very similar to their No Filter Powder, which was my holy grail until they discontinued it. All right, clean lids, a little bit of my Milani primer. Prime these bad boys. And then I take a bit of my ColourPop powder again and just set that. Oh man, I just love, I love making iced coffee. I have a Koryu machine that I got for Christmas last year. Sort of a Christmas present for me and my hubby to ourselves. And uh, I just love it because you can make iced coffee, hot coffee, you can do all kinds of things with it. All right, let's move on to bronzer. This is from the brand LYS Beauty. It's called the No Limits Matte Bronzer. I have the shade Light in the shade. It's called Motivate. <laughs> and the packaging is so cute. I even love the box. I haven't thrown the box away yet. It's just so darn cute. It comes in this really cute triangle packaging. It has a magnetic closure. It's super kind of like bougie and fancy. And this color is really pretty. I wore this only once. The formula is really, really nice. I'm going to use my AOA Studio F28 brush. I love this. It's my favorite brush for bronzer. Uh, I only wore this once, so I definitely need to play with it more. But I have to say, color is pretty... Uh, it's The formula is really soft. It's definitely very pigmented. So I like to tap a little bit off on the back of my hand. And I like to kind of just stipple it on first. And then... I'll go in and blend it, but yeah, it's a nice color. It's not like, it's not orange. It definitely leans more, kind of like in between, you know? It's a bit neutral. Really love bronzer, because it really just can really change a simple, basic look and just really warm up your complexion, make you look a little bit healthier. Especially, you know, if you are on the fair side, you know how it is. A little bit of bronzer and blush just brings your face to life, you know? Definitely like the formula of this bronzer. It's absolutely beautiful. I have a feeling this is going to be my new favorite <laughs> powder bronzer. And you know what? This brand at Sephora is pretty affordable. Like, a lot of products are under the $20 mark, so it's very comparable price-wise to, like, the drugstore. I mean, have you seen the price of drugstore makeup lately? Holy cannoli blush let's play with this right here i finally purchased one of the rare beauty blushes and this is in the shade uh encourage and this is the dewy version because i love a good dewy blush this is really pigmented <laughs> it's really and it's actually a pretty deep color so i have to be a little bit careful here so i'm actually gonna use my favorite brush to use with cream products and it's the elf airbrush stipple you guys know the drill it's one of my favorite brushes and take a little bit of this off the back of my hand this is a foolproof way of applying a very pigmented blush you just dip your brush in really work it into the brush see just like that and then you kind of stipple it on wow yeah this is super pigmented i'm just curious to see how this is going to blend over top of powder products because Personally, for me, I can definitely tell if I'm going to like a cream product if I can layer it over a powder pow powder product underneath and not only have to use it with cream products. That's how you know it's, it's good. That's how you know it's good. Wow, that is a very, very pigmented blush. All right, we're definitely looking very flushed. Maybe I added a little too much, but wow. So pigmented. Blended out really nicely. I like this formula so far. It does have a little bit of a glow to it, but again, very natural on the skin, which I love, but very pigmented. So I didn't purchase a highlighter from Sephora, but I went to TJ Maxx to spend some birthday cash, and I picked up this uh, palette from Merc Jacobs. If you're not following me on TikTok, you guys, I posted a little TJ Maxx haul, so go over there and follow me. It's smarterbeauty09, that's where I am on social media. If you guys wanna follow me, totally up to you. Um, I just found out that Merc Jacobs is like, no longer i must I, I think i knew that and then just forgot about it and it just grabbed my attention because it's called you know it's part of the cafe collection which you guys know <laughs> i love my coffee so 250 tantalize glow look at that packaging isn't it beautiful it looks like coffee creamer we're gonna still play with this palette i really wanted it 
even though I knew that this was probably limited edition, but I just, I didn't know at the time that they were closing shop. So here's what the palette looks like. So you got your blush, your bronzer, and your highlighter. I love palettes like this, especially in the summertime. I just want the, something like quick and easy. And so far, I love this. I think the formula is really, really nice. Ah, oh, smells like really, really good. <laughs> smells like coconuts. And I think today I'm gonna use the blush in here because it's like a really nice pinky toned um highlighter and it's very soft it's not anything too crazy so i'm gonna use my f19 highlighter brush and just kind of run my brush in here oh yeah just a nice pinky toned highlight which i love a good pinky toned highlighter and i think this will go really nice with that blush that i put on all right, and then to set the base makeup, I'm gonna use my ColourPop Tried and True, the Pretty Fresh Setting Spray, which I love. <laughs> Be extra, honey. Life is too short. All right, for brows, I think I'm gonna go just real simple and use my ColourPop Brow Pencil. I love this one. I have the shade Ash Brown. And then I haven't really played a lot with the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel in clear. Don't know if it's my favorite, but we're gonna, I'm gonna use that today. Oh, this week has been just really like up and down. I tell you what, with like the cost of like food and just every, like the inflation, I'm sure a lot of you are feeling stressed as well. So I hope you guys can just come here to my channel and just chill out, try to relax, take a take a breather, have a have a break, treat yourself to a little snack or a coffee and just, you know, come and hang out. That's what I always want you guys to just feel comfortable and chill and have fun with makeup. Don't be afraid to play and try different things and so what if you mess up you know it's just makeup at the end of the day it's just makeup folks let's not get our panties in a twist you know <laughs> i just been really just my anxiety has been really high this week um just with you know i'm sure we're all worried and we all have our own problems and our in our personal lives and i do like sharing things here and there I am a private person by nature, but I also do like sharing some things with you guys. And it's funny because sometimes I feel like when I sit in front of the camera talking <laughs> to myself, well, I'm talking to you guys, but you know what I mean. Um, sometimes I feel like I'm more open alone talking to a camera than I am talking to like people I know in my life. Isn't that, I don't know, is that kind of weird? Because I feel like I've always been like the quiet person keep to myself, the kind of loner, but I also feel like I can be outgoing, especially when I'm in a really good mood or if I'm around friends or people I, I'm familiar with, you know. Sorry if I hop around a lot talking, but my mind has just been, I was, actually was, wasn't even gonna film today, to be honest with you, because I took Honey to the vet yesterday. She had some blood work done and I actually took her to a different vet. <laughs> that is a whole other story. I just haven't been too happy with my current vet lately for many reasons that I'm not going to get into, but so I went to a different place, which is kind of nerve wracking, you know, trusting a stranger with your dog. I wanted a proper diagnosis and it's exactly what I thought. So um, the vet actually called me this morning today and of course I got really emotional because if you guys don't know, Honey, my dog, she's a senior. She's 17 years old. Her birthday is actually in July. It's July 3rd. And she's been having a lot of issues. She's lost a lot of weight. Like, a lot of weight. She's, like, really skinny. And I, I knew from her symptoms that she's been having. And it kind of, like, started, like, a year or two ago. And I have a feeling that she should have been put on a, a special diet for... Um, I forgot to even mention, uh, she has kidney disease, and unfortunately, if you have a pet and you know that's not good, you know, she's already really old and in her final stages of life. I finally got the answers I was looking for, so I'm happy with my decision to go to a different vet, which, I mean, if you ever feel like you're not happy with something, don't be afraid to speak up and go someplace else, you know? 
Like sometimes I'm just afraid of like confrontation or upsetting someone. I'm a people pleaser that you just don't actually do what you're supposed to do. You know what I mean? I don't know if I'm making any sense. Anyways, <laughs> so yeah, I talked to the vet this morning and her blood work is not so good. Her kidney levels are really high. They're higher than last time that she had blood work done. I guess it's just, it's really hard to accept that information, you know, because we want to I'm sure all of us wish that our animals would live forever, or at least live as long as we do, you know? I'm just gonna spoil her rotten and <laughs> just make the best of it, you know? It's just been hard. It's been a really rough week, <sighs> and I just, I, I have a hard time talking about it because it just gets me really emotional. <laughs> so, yeah. So just dealing with that and just worried about money, worried about this and that, and I don't know. I kind of regret buying a bunch of stuff from Sephora because I feel like my channel is always based on more affordable products and that's where I, I typically get the views but then sometimes I get tired of talking about the same like few brands <laughs> over and over again and that's why I wanted to try some things from Sephora so and that's another thing I've been really stressed out about YouTube and I feel really bad that I haven't been posting that much lately so I'm sorry to you guys if I've let you guys down and I always feel guilty when I don't film. And this is the first time I've sat down and filmed in a while, actually, because I used a lot of my backup videos I had previously filmed. So I'm just trying to find a balance between letting myself deal with, like, life and also taking a break on the weekends to just breathe. My brows have just been awful. I don't know what's going on, but I just feel like every time I fill them in, they look insane. But I don't know how I feel about this one. See how it's like a pasty white? Oh, I don't know. And I feel like when I put this in, it just, it's so cakey. I don't know. I like a lot of the ColourPop brow products and stuff. But this one, I don't know. It's kind of like white, but then it dries down clear. All right, so this eyeshadow palette I picked up at Walmart on a whim. <laughs> just kind of a random purchase. And I, I didn't realize that Profusion was sold at Walmart, but they had a really great selection of products. I only picked up this one eyeshadow palette. It was only like $5 and some change, so about $6 with taxes. But look how pretty. This is the 10 shade palette, and I got the smoky one. And I guess these come in different colors. They had so many to choose from. They had like a rose gold. They had like really colorful ones. They had neon palettes. So a little bit of something for everyone, which is great. And this just spoke to my makeup soul. True and true, I love neutral palettes like this that are very smoky. You've got a nice mixture of transition colors, deeper colors here on the end. And when I swatched these on the back of my hand the other day, holy crap, guys, these are absolutely stunning. So I'm going to use this palette today because I'm just dying to play with it and I haven't used it yet. All right, I think I'm going to take Top Notch. There are names here. So I'm going to take this shade here and use it as a transition color. Oh, before I forget, I've been having so many requests to do a video on She Glam. So it's like the makeup brand of Shein where they sell a bunch of clothing and stuff. I know a lot of those videos are really popular. And so since I've had a lot of requests to talk about that makeup and try it out, um, I placed an order. So that video is coming. I'm super excited. I'm going to do a full face, you guys. Yes, I went a little nuts. <laughs> and I ordered a whole bunch of makeup. So I'm actually really excited. So I am very, very curious to see what the hype is all about. So that video is coming. This color is so pretty. It's blending really nice. But man, I just feel like there's just so much makeup coming out. And when I see like these huge PR hauls, I just, I'm kind of glad that I'm not on that. I, I very rarely get PR, which I'm kind of happy about because the pressure of constantly posting like first impression, first impression. And I feel like those videos are not always very helpful and I I do do them you know like I'm gonna do a full face of the she glam products and I don't do that very often but I like to try to have enough time that's the problem I feel like as a content creator in the beauty world you have to post things so 
fast. You know, like ColourPop coming out with a collection like every few days and people like posting, posting, posting. I don't know. I think I'm just mentally exhausted with the amount of makeup coming out. All right, that color is so pretty. I think I'm gonna go purple. Okay, I think I'm gonna go more purple smoky today. So I'm gonna take graphite, this color right here. It's a really cool toned purple. Oh wow, okay pigmentation. Cause let me tell you what, I feel like Profusion usually reminds me of Makeup Revolution. And if you're new here, I don't like Makeup Revolution products. I've tried a lot of stuff from them and there's been a few hits, but mostly misses for me, unfortunately. And I don't like their eyeshadows. I think their eyeshadows are my least favorite thing ever. You know what this palette reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of the uh, grunge palette from Gimme Glow Cosmetics. They discontinued it, but this is kind of reminding me. Maybe that's why I, I was really like, ooh, intrigued. As soon as I saw the colors, I was like, ooh, kind of grungy, smoky. I would love it if you guys left a comment down below and told me what kind of videos you would like to see from me. You know, I know I know I do like the shop missy videos and stuff like that, but I would love to know besides like reviewing new products cuz that sometimes can be you know, I'm trying to stick with a tighter budget here on out. All right, so for the waterline, I think I'm going to try this Flower Beauty Forever Wear Sapphire Longwear Eyeliner. I love these liners. These are so good from Flower Beauty. I don't know why. I just want to do a darker look today. Taking, Going back and taking that pencil and just really smudging it all over. I'm just going to take a brush and just kind of smudge this. I feel like I used to do this a lot back in the day. Like, take a liner and then smudge it. And then you set it with shadow and it just lasts all day. So let's take the eyeshadow C brush from e.l.f. And I'm going to go in with the shade Bling. This color is just calling my name. It's kind of like a taupey, icy color. Okay, that is gorgeous. And it's so pigmented. I just did a light layer because I don't want it to be too shiny. I want to keep this look pretty matte and smoky. That is gorgeous. Okay, inner corner, I think I'm going to go with Twinkle. This shade here. And just pop this in my inner corner. Oh my god, you guys. These are really good shimmers. <laughs> this palette was only like under $6. All right, I'm loving that blue so much. I think I might um, line my upper lashes with it. I've been kind of, I don't know. Like, I love liquid liner. Don't get me wrong. I've just been liking a smoky liner lately. So... I'm just gonna take that same Flower Beauty liner. Something else that we're gonna play with that is new to me is the Bite Beauty Upswing Full Volume Mascara. Oh my gosh, I just saw that Bite Beauty is like, they're closing shop, like they're actually done. So I got this with my Sephora points and I kind of regret doing that because everything's like 50% off now. But anyways, you know, you live and you learn. I didn't realize you were going out of business. So let me curl my lashes real quick. You guys know I mostly use drugstore mascaras, but I just, again, it's something that was super hyped up that I was super curious about. Oh, look at the wand. I really like the wand, it's the hourglass shape, but it's kind of like white at the bottom. Ooh. That does not look good. <laughs> like there's so much product I can probably, yep. I'm gonna apply it to the other lash. I think another huge problem is that the handle on here is so tiny. I'm really struggling to apply this. Wow, okay, my lashes look good on this side but they look so bad on this side and I don't know if that's because there is just so much product on the wand to start out with. Uh, definitely gave me a lot of volume, but wow, it's a thick, pasty formula, so I'm not too thrilled with that. I'm going to have to reach for my Ulta Beauty lash comb because, wow. Not sure how I feel about this mascara. First impressions, I don't like the, how thick the formula is, and it's so hard to hold it because how tiny this little mini is. Like, it's so hard, and the wand is so big and chunky, so I don't know how I feel. So while we let that dry let's play with some lip products here i do have the merit beauty 
signature lipstick. I was so excited to get my hands on one of these. So I'm thinking maybe I'll do this and put a little bit of the Tower 28 gloss, which I've been using and I can tell you already, I love this gloss, you guys, it's so yummy. I have the shade Pistachio and it smells really good. I think it does smell like, like sweet and kind of nutty. So I am gonna put a little bit of lip liner on. This is from Essence, I love these lip liners. I've been obsessed. This is the Soft and Precise Lip Pencil in the shade My Choice. All right, let's try it. I have swatched this in the back of my hand, but I haven't actually put it on yet. So these launched from Merit Beauty not that long ago, and I really love their products. So this was, again, part of my uh, Sephora haul. Look at the packaging. Really, like, weighty, heavy, luxurious feel. Kind of giving me, like, Dior vibes, but being cruelty-free and more of a natural makeup brand. Ugh. And I have the shade Baby, which is the perfect, like, everyday pink has a nice scent to it too. It's very, very slightly sweet. Oh yeah. Oh, and I think these are not like full coverage lipstick, but like your everyday go-to. Yeah, this is definitely my kind of color. Ah, uh, it's like your lips bit better. Mm. All right, I'm loving that. That is beautiful. That is like the perfect everyday lip color and that's why I picked this shade because I knew I would get some use out of it and wear it all the time. Merit! Merit killed it. This formula is beautiful. Mm, it's so creamy. This might be a little bit of an overkill but I'm gonna take a little bit of the Tower 28 gloss and pistachio. Oh yeah, oh my god, this is the perfect combo. Obsessed. I'm already in love. <laughs> I can already tell you. I can usually tell right off the bat if I'm gonna like a lip, a bullet lipstick. This is beautiful, you guys. I definitely want to get another shade. So for lashes today, I think I'm going to go with my favorite ones from Too Faced Cosmetics. These are the Drama Queen lashes that they sent to me forever ago, and I've still been using these for like... <laughs> they're getting pretty worn out. I probably should throw these away, but I love them so much. So I'm going to throw these on, and I'll be back, you guys, to show you the finished look. All right, guys, I'm back. I put on some lashes. I ended up going with these instead. They're also from Too Faced. These are called Natural Flirt. A little bit less dramatic, but I like these because they're a little bit softer. I've been really liking a slightly softer lash. So here's the completed look. I love how this turned out. I have to say some of my favorite products today, definitely this palette. Oh my goodness, really loved it. I really liked the Marriott lipstick. I really like the gloss. Uh, the blush from Rare Beauty, pigmented, but still lovely. And that bronzer, oh my goodness. That bronzer is so nice as well. Really, really pretty. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I didn't talk your head off too much. There's definitely gonna be more videos coming your way. As always, all the products I use today will be linked down below in the description box, so make sure to check that out. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a like, comment, share, subscribe if you're new. I talk about cruelty-free beauty here on my channel, and if you're interested in that, I usually post on Tuesdays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and when I'm not on here, you can follow me on TikTok, I'm on Instagram, all that jazz. All my links are always down below if you want to go follow me over there when I'm not here on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Mwah.